say my top tips are, first and foremost, to understand the economics of shipping across country. And so there are tax implications, but also you have to consider not just the transit to a, uh, to a country, but in case there are returns, what does that mean? What is that gonna cost and is it even feasible? I think more than anything though, you have to understand who the customer is. And so when you're presenting products, what are they looking for? What are they looking to buy? Um, ultimately, if you can define who that customer is, you're gonna be able to provide them a product they wanna buy. My top tips for businesses selling online and especially going cross-border, know your market, especially you know, try to get in trade missions or go online. There are some country guides that are very, very uh, powerful and gives you a good overview of the country. Know your customers online. Each country have local payment methods. They have local, they like their local currency, so it, it's important to have a local touch and feel as much as possible. Get the delivery right, get the right carrier that can ship all over the world where you can have visibility on, on every single shipment that you can help you with the packaging. The more the shipment will go you know, very far. The first thing is to uh, remember that you can send pretty much anything anywhere. So no problem can't be solved. But I'd approach it slowly. Don't think I must sell to everywhere in the world from day one. Pick a market, the US, Australia, the EU. Uh, and match your product to different countries. There are going to be places where you're going to be in demand and other places you aren't. But the key tip for trading cross-border is to get on and do it. Thinking about it isn't enough. 